Hello everyone, how's it going? It's me, Jaylene, also known as Ben Forth. Today I wanted to capture on film how to film some sexy little steamy scenes with you being the star. That is right, today we're gonna learn about the four key tips in terms of how to make your homemade porno look pro, even with just your phone. But first, did you subscribe? Now, time to get a little frisky with the learning of porno filming. I'll be going over four key things here for you. Number one, angles. Number two, lighting. Number three, sound. And last but not least, number four, being curious. Number one, angles. This is the award-winning way in terms of how to upscale your film's look. Here are three different angles for you and your lover to try. First one I like to call is bottoms up. This is basically when the camera that you have is going to be at a 45 degree angle. So let's say this is a person, let's say we're doing a doggy style behind me right here. We want it basically right here. A nice little angle to see both our faces. Here in this position you can have it almost facing upwards, so kind of like this. If it's me and my partner behind me, you're going to face it midway, which is exactly what we have right now, or you can be facing it downwards. So basically, it's a little bit more of an attractive sort of feature in terms of you wanting to see each other's faces. The second one I'm going to talk to you about is the POV portal, so basically very self-explanatory, what you see in a lot of sort of porns. I'm going to be showing you right here. Basically, it's, you can either have it more angling downwards. I usually find the camera angle a lot more sexier if it is angling downwards to the floor. Hello toes! And you can have your partner either doing something with their hands or their head just right in this area. And last but not least, what we have here is kind of through the looking glass. This is one that I really like to use in terms of my own little pornos. And one thing I like most about this is a more of a voyeur appeal. So you kind of almost have some sort of plants in front of the frame itself. Another thing that you can do is basically a door frame. So you're kind of peeking through the door at you and your lover getting it on. Sexy. <laughs> Tip number two. Let the lighting in. Now, lighting makes all the difference in the world in terms of your homemade porno, and I base it on a scale. The higher quality your lens, the more darkness and shadows you can let into your lighting. I say this because a lower grade of quality camera will make it very grainy and pixelated in the video itself in dark moments, and thus it won't be that attractive to watch. Thus, the brighter the space, the better it will be for absolutely any camera. And remember to have the light upon your beautiful faces is not behind you, the more light that is behind you, the more darker your silhouettes are going to be. Unless you want it like that. And if you are to use a light to help kind of make it a little bit more brighter, I always say kind of using either a kind of a spotlight lamp or a lamp where you can take off the lampshade itself because a little bit more parallel light, a little bit more level to you and your faces. And this will give a lot more beautiful shadows upon your face rather than an overhead ceiling light. Tip number three. Sounds let the sexy in. And when I say sounds let the sexy in, I mean sounds of you and your partner or partners. Keep out any intrusive music in the background that doesn't suit the mood. And especially if you want to crop the film later in kind of an editing mode, making sure that there's no background music at all because it will be very choppy background music throughout the cropping. Other loud things to be aware of is either your fans and also outside noise. Keeping the windows fully shut kind of helps with this. And lastly, tip number four, be curious. One thing I have to say about creating professional porn is that it mainly is work. Worrying about camera angles, body angles, facial expressions, there's so much to contribute while you're busy trying to also fuck as well. And for first time explorers, being in front of a camera, all these things can be really tiring to try and consider. So I urge you and your partner to be curious about what it feels like to be in front of the camera in this vulnerable, playful, sexy moment. Shyness, smiles, laughs, after even some jokes may break out. And don't think of those moments in your porno as not contributing to your porno being good because you guys aren't recording having marathons of orgasms. Rather, think of these beautiful little moments of laughter and shyness and jokes as little pieces of memorabilia for you and your partner to kind of kind of cherish in terms of 
seeing what how your connection looked like in an authentic moment. All right, people, now time for you to head down, down here to my bonus links with much more content to all these beautiful sexy sex ed videos, as well as signing up for my newsletter. Do not forget to subscribe and also like if you really wanted to make a porno after watching this video. And as always, thank you so much for watching, everyone. It is me, Fed Forth. Mwah.